Welcome to Yangaroo Live. We're very happy to have today with us Mr. Martin Kerr. Good Martin to see Kerr. It's a little song called You're Amazing. One day, I'll be looking back on this and we'll say, Aren't you happy that we did it our way? Everyone we knew was saying no way. But we were never listening anyway. So don't be just standing in the doorway. Don't you know we gotta hit the highway? Darling, this is gonna be a good day. And I've gotta say that I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. One day, I'll be looking back on this and I'll say, I'm so happy that you said you would stay. There were times I know that I was crazy. Freeing at the edges and you saved me. I'm losing count of chances that you gave me. You're laughing at me, dancing really badly. And telling me the reasons why you gladly do it all again. Cause I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. Oh, I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. You're amazing. Well, hey, words could never adequately convey Everything you're giving to me today But holding you is better than a holiday And leaving you, I dread it like exam day So at the risk of sounding kind of risque Everything to now has been the foreplay Darling, I would follow you to Norway Or anywhere you want it Cause I'm not bad myself But you're amazing You're amazing Oh, I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing, you're amazing. You're amazing Oh, I'm not bad myself But you're amazing You're amazing Oh, I'm not bad myself But you're amazing You're amazing One day When we're getting wrinkly and our hair is grey a rusty old banger in the driveway One of us will maybe wear a toupee But I will be in love with you All right. All right. Thank you very much. Should have got you all singing along. That would have been more fun. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Hey, Adam. That sounded great. It's Thank a be you. beautiful song too. Thank you very much. Beautiful song, yeah. I'm glad you like it. It's really been uh, been taken off lately. Yeah, yeah. People have been sharing it with their loved ones around the world, and mm -hmm. it's been getting airplay in different countries. And I get messages every day from people who say, "We heard your song. We love it." Or you know, my kids love it, or my mum loves it, or you know, it seems to be a, a song that people are bonding over, which is really right. Nice. Yeah, that a lot of people can relate to yeah. and 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 resonates with them and. And, and that's great. So, yeah. So I'm glad for the success so far. And, Thank you. And whatever else comes with it, we'll be we'll be watching closely. So yeah. Yeah. So have you heard the studio version? It's pretty fun. I have heard the studio version. Yeah. I've seen the video. Awesome. Yeah. So if if you have a chance, check it out. Google it. It's on YouTube. Yeah, it's got a pretty um, cute video with my little boy in it. I wondered, is, yeah. is that, and is there he some looks like. just like me. There is a That's your boy. I, I wondered if it was video. like footage from when you were a kid. But yeah, that's, that's what we were it's, going for. But yeah. it's, it's actually. It's actually, it's actually fake. my son. Yeah, it's just all let you peek fake. behind the curtain there. Okay. And the girl is played by my manager's daughter. They're the same age. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's awesome. pretty fun. And we filmed the, the rest of the video at Vancouver Folk Festival on Jericho Beach in Vancouver. It was really nice. We just got all these random passers-by mm -hmm. singing along, singing the chorus to each other. It was really cool. It sounds. It looks like you're having a lot of fun in it. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. My favorite bit is when the trumpets come in at the end. It's pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah check it out on YouTube. You're amazing, Martin Kerr, of course. 
Um, it's, it's a fun, fun little video. It goes, goes great with the song. It really matches the, the feeling and the mood. So, um, But it seems like this music thing is, has been a lot of fun for you. It sure has, lately, yeah. It beats especially. having a real job, that's for sure. Beats having a real job, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you're from, from Edmonton. Yes. You've been doing the thing in Edmonton. Obviously, I'm originally from Edmonton, hence the accent. <laughs> yes, that is yeah. the, the, the famous yeah, no, Edmontonian no, no. accent. Right. No, I've been it's much there, different like, from the Calgary. years now. Grew up in England mm -hmm. and uh, moved to Canada for true love. Mm. I met my woman when I was traveling around the world and we courted long distance online. And uh, yeah, moved here and married her and got kids. And now I write songs about them. Oh, so, yeah. so that song is about her? <laughs> it's about my wife. Okay, yeah. I was just curious. I wrote it when I was on tour and just, missing her terribly. Just curious, there might be a more interesting story there. No, well, the story is that she said, Martin, you should write a song about how amazing I am. Yes. And I said, Seriously? okay. <laughs> That's exactly she, what she, she said. Really did? She said it about a million times before I actually did and it. And then you yeah. actually did it. <laughs> Good for you. I'm sure that was a wise decision. Yeah, she liked it. Yeah, great. So how long have you been doing the, the music thing? How long I've been, been doing playing? it full time for 10 years now. For 10 years, yeah. But, um, kind of kicked things up a notch in the last couple of years since uh, my buddy Anthony, who I met playing soccer, started managing me. And mm -hmm. um, so, you know, started doing bigger things and getting out, playing around the country. Um, I used to play a lot on the street, mm -hmm. um, doing a lot of busking, busking yeah. and little house concerts and stuff, which I still love doing. But um, I get to play in big theaters now as well and the odd stadium festival here and there. So it's well, that's, cool. that is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. living the dream. Yeah, what's your favorite part about it? About music? Yeah, about playing music, about performing live in front of people. Honestly, my very favorite part is mm -hmm. doing interviews in office buildings. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, this is fun too. You had me. Um, I was like, wow, but, uh, <laughs> that's, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love just connecting with people, you know? For me, mm -hmm. a song is something that opens up people's hearts. And the conversations I get to have with people after a show, mm -hmm. those, those are my favorite bits. When you see somebody with tears in their eyes telling you how much this song moved their heart. You, you that, did that. Yeah, you so, did that. like the song did that. You know, mm -hmm. The song kind of comes through you somehow and you don't really understand how it works, but music has this magical power to it that seems to be able to make people's days better. So that's my favorite part. Great, Yeah. great. So you're amazing as part of a new collection, a new album or, yeah, or EP? Yeah, I've been working on some new stuff um, with a really cool producer out of Vancouver called Ryan Stewart. Mm -hmm. So we've been writing some songs together um, and uh, he's helping me kind of make, make my music reach the masses a little bit. Great. So, uh, Great. yeah, um, and I've been traveling around the world writing with different people and just expanding my musical horizons a little bit. I used to mm -hmm. do all my own writing mm -hmm. and now I'm co-writing with lots of different people and the musical ideas that they bring to the table are really cool. I still do almost all the lyrics myself, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's really cool to, to have other people's um, ideas and opinions and experiences to bring into the mix, and you come up with something that I never would have imagined before. Great. So yeah. will we? Will we? Like, will it drop soon? Will we get to well, hear? Well, I'm it bringing soon? out a song out at a time. There's a new okay. song coming out um, on Friday, mm -hmm. like real soon this week, uh, which is called "You Feel Like Home," and this was a co-write with a, a lady called Beth Riordan out of Australia. So I was in Australia this time last year, and we wrote and recorded nice. this song. And uh, I got to record with some incredible musicians. The producer was a guy called Chris Vallejo who did Passengers uh, albums. And Passengers one of my very favorite artists. He's mm -hmm. also a street performer and mm -hmm. kind of conquered the world with his music somehow. And uh, so I got to kind of borrow his bandmates for that session. And so that, the recorded version, I really, really love. And it's actually a piano song. I'm going to try and play it on the guitar and give you a little sneak peek of how oh. it sounds. But I really hope people will go and check it out on Spotify and and Apple Music and uh, I hope and hear so because the studio version sounds so beautiful right and it's out this Friday yeah it's, it's actually two days from now that's right great yeah great and I'm glad you mentioned, pa mentioned Passenger yes um, just a quick anecdote maybe five six years ago I think just before it became super before Let It Go came out yeah. and <clears throat> streamed billions of times he did a show he busked a show in a in a park just a few blocks away yeah. and a couple of the other uh, people from this office and I went over yeah. and it was like one of the first video blogs that we ever put no up way. on Yang. Yeah, just him in, in, in the local park. There might have been just a hundred people there tops. Yeah. And uh, it, it was fantastic. He's a super cool guy. I think I it's still on our blog. Too. We should find that and post it again. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he plays huge stadiums now, but he also yeah. still does the, the busking. Which yeah, and he was really totally awesome. happy to do it. But, yeah. Um, but, but yeah. Sorry for, for that digression. No, um, that's totally but we'll relevant. be ready to hear uh, <laughs> hear hear another new song. Yeah, from Martin Kerr. All right, thank you. Okay, so uh, yeah, this one's called "You Feel Like Home." Doesn't have to change 
change a thing while I sleep you awake And on those nights I dream of you with a smile upon my face In every story told In fairy tales we're taught to dream But no one wants you to know Sometimes it gets hard to breathe And on those nights I dream of you I've had enough of distant dreams While the stars they glow They show how far you are from me And on those nights I dream of you Much. Oh, wow. Thank you. That was lovely. Pleasure. Huh? It sounded lovely. It's nice meeting you. Nice you singing too. for you. You too. Thanks for yeah. coming by. Absolute Thanks for pleasure. for singing for us. We really enjoyed it. Anytime. And uh, we'll be watching, you know, your success grow <laughs> very closely from now on. So, thank, thank you very, very much. much again, My everyone. Pleasure. Martin Kerr. Thanks for having me, folks. Martin Good to see you all. You're amazing. Oh, I'm not bad myself, but you're amazing. 